That's it. And jump starting a cell phone. Yeah. That's awesome. That's an excellent title for the thing, so let's, yep. let's do that. Today we're jump starting a cell phone. Alright. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm getting a polish. Come. And I'm Tim Hildyard. <laughs> See? Easy. And we're here to show you a hack that is weird, unusual, and the occasional use one too. Sometimes they work out really well, sometimes not so much. But either way, it's a fun way to learn about the technology that surrounds us every day. This is Funny Hacks. That noise makes the logo look good. Shut up! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Okay, um, so uh, a friend of uh, mine had some trouble in that she's got this new fancy phone, um, except when the battery gets too low, the phone is unable to boot up enough to be able to charge the battery. So um, <laughs> so at that point, <laughs> yeah, there's, no, there's nothing that you can do about it with the actual phone. And so that's why I, I um, took apart this one, and the idea is that because it's got the same Type, same enough type of battery. Um, it's the same voltage, it's got the same number of pins and they're all labelled the same. Because I knew that uh, she was willing to lose the phone if need be, um, I was willing to then take the risk of, well hey, let's uh, hook up her battery up to this phone and see if we can charge it that way. Now they're being completely different shapes and so therefore I had to um, sort of do this little fancy thing here. So basically what happens is the bottom of the battery hooks in there sure. and then the little bit that I've carved away of the paper clip um, just touches the terminal of the battery. Sure. You can tell this is great homemade electronics because they remind me very much of FM Kotangas. Now you probably don't get that in UK land or America but in New Zealand FM Kotangas everyone knows what they are. Look them up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're, they're, a good, they're a good hack for radios. Okay, and obviously you are like putting uh, power from one cell phone to another. What are the risks involved? Uh, the biggest risk, you're not making, you don't have any risk to her cell phone. Sure. Uh, because we're not doing anything with that. Um, but the biggest risk is the actual battery that we're going to charge because, um, well, and there's, there's sensitive electronics in the actual battery which is there to sort of protect it from silly things happening like short circuits or being overcharged or undercharged or all these type of things. People trying to jump start it. Uh, yeah, and uh, so um, the, the most likely thing that you're likely to make a mistake on is um, uh, blowing that electronics. You could do that by putting the pins around the wrong way. You could do it by, well, hey, the phones simply aren't compatible. <laughs> um, sometimes the phones will actually, uh, I don't know how much this happens, but I know it, it's to be true in some situations at least, that the battery and the phone actually uh, have a conversation. And um, so they're saying, well, like, how full are you? Like, how, mu how many units, um, like, how many milliamp hours are you? Um, uh, how many has been used and how many are remaining and what was your last full capacity? That's the most boring stuff. phone conversation I've ever heard. <laughs> 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 it's like ASL but for phones. Fair enough. Okay, so yep. any, uh, any risk to the actual phone doing the charging? Yes. Ah, right, okay, what are we yep. looking at here? Um, well, this and it's basically the same but on the other side of the battery. So. Sure. Um, yeah, uh, like I've actually soldered these wires onto the phone directly. Um, so depending on how the design of your phone, this phone here, for some reason, there's the they've got this really cool setup for the connected for the terminals for the battery. Sure. And what that is is that we essentially have here's these uh, copper or whatever it is um, copper like plates, and then you've got the pins. And so imagine them sitting there, and then we'll just do the other end of them, and they're spring-loaded like this, and so the spring pushes it both on there, and it also pushes it on there, so there's sure. no soldering happening there. Okay. But, these plates, for some reason, they've made them about three times the size they need to be on this particular phone. Which means that I could actually solder, um, it's a bit hard to see there, but I could solder one end of them without interfering with the part that both clips are actually use. So I can actually put this all back together and reuse the phone originally as a That was my next question. So yeah. Yeah. Um, whereas a lot of phones you probably won't be that lucky. Sure. Uh, another way of doing this, uh, I didn't have a spare phone which is like this, but um, another way of doing it is you can get um, these little clippy clips, um, not the not the bulldog nose ones, um, but the actual ones that sort of you squeeze a thing and a little hook comes out, and then when you let go, it then goes back into the plastic. I know the one you're talking about. I yep. don't know what they're called. Yeah. 
Some phones have have connectors like this, and so you can hook around them. If you have that type of clip, then you can um, you can do it without solder, or you probably can do it without soldering. Now, I've actually, if you've seen the AA uh, running the cell phone off AA's episode that I did a while back, I used these type of hooks uh, to do that. That's probably enough on on that. Actually, if you want to see a phone break? <laughs> oh yes, yes. Um, now uh, we are professionals at breaking things, folks. And uh, this is this is what happens when you drop an iPhone. I'm not sure if you can see. Oh that. no, no, no! Don't put it that close. We won't be no. able to focus. You yeah. see that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. it is streaky. Don't get me wrong, but that's what happens when you drop an iPhone. Yay, iPhones! Hooray! In the technical episode, um, it's really weird looking. It is weird. This, and this what uh, sounds. Okay, <laughs> it's like putting your underwear on backwards. It just doesn't feel right. In the technical episode, I talk about the various pins, what they do, um, what you need to look for in, in terms of choosing a phone. I had some other phones which I would have actually preferred to use, but they weren't suitable, so I'm going to talk about that and uh, how you can choose a good phone. Sure. Uh, that's about it. So, uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see what other people have done. Yep. Post a video response, as always, or if you leave any comments, if you basically have anything to say. Hooray! Andy. Oh. Right. <laughs> Don't put that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be nice. <laughs> okie dokie.